Hello and welcome back to my channel, Craft With Me Dawny. Today I'm going to upcycle an old letter rack. We've had this some time. Um, I had like a little metal pull on this, but I've taken it off. So, and then I've just filled the hole. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to give this a coat of paint. I'm going to give it an undercoat of a little bit of um, watered down gesso, which is this here, just in white. And then I'm going to um, give it a coat. Sorry if you saw me, I'm just out of the shower, my hair's wet through. But I just felt the need to come in and do this. I thought while I'm at it I'll film it. So I'm going to give it a coat of this undercoat and then I'm going to give it a coat when it's all dried. Um, a coat of duck egg blue. Uh, chalk paint and then I'm going to do some um, decoupaging on it as well. Just so that it marries in with the rest of my bits that I've got in here. So I'm just going to give it a rough coat over. This is just that this is a little bit shiny. I don't know as anything but it is. I think originally it were either from Home Bargains or B&M. I must have had it about four or five years. the tub is this so there's a couple of little dried bits going on in it which is no good we don't want no lumps and bumps if we can get away with it so what's the weather like at your your end we've had a little bit of um, snow this morning it's very very icy and freezing fog so a little bit different for a change so I've got the eating cranked on and I just started coming here and do this and I thought I'd film it and share it with you what I'm doing I will distress this as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So it just gives it a bit of a base. The paint to stick to. I do think actually it would have stuck to it, but I didn't want to start doing it and then end up in a situation where paint had come off. I'm just giving this a quick coat. Won't well, take long to dry and then I'll be back anyway. put some um, feet or something on this you know to lift it a little bit I don't know yet I'll just do it as I go along um, 
I love this stuff. <laughs> I buy it in bulk. I do use a lot. Just do this side and then I'm going to stand it on its other side and allow it to, to dry and then what I'll do is I'll come back and do the other side when it's dry and then I'll be back to you when um, I've coated it all. So I'm just going to do inside this little drawer. I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I'm sure I'll use it for something. I just like the idea of all my little bits and bobs matching. And it's a cheaper way to do all your storage as well, and it does look, look nice when it's all kind of the same or co coordinated rather than having a bit of this and a bit of that. Quite therapeutic in sit painting. Just give these edges a quick run over. And then We will be near on it there and just have to wait now for the other bits to dry. So go get yourself a cup of coffee. That's why I'm going to do now with the tea. I don't drink a lot of coffee. I'm going to get some stamps with it. I'll drink no end of it for weeks and weeks and then I go back to me good old cup of tea, cup of Charlie, <laughs> so I'm all cleaned up now, it gets everywhere, so we'll just wait for that to dry and then I'll come back to you when I'm ready to paint, this is the colour that I'm going to use, you can see that it's like um i do believe it's called vintage duck egg so right then squeaky chair again so i'm gonna go make a cuppa and let this dry and then i'll be back to you see you soon bye hello we're back and we're all dry so i'm gonna give this its coat of paint in this vintage duck egg chalky paint let's get a bit of kitchen roll so I hope you've all had a nice cuppa I'm just going to do in this draw a bit first. This is my favourite colour, I love it, absolutely love it. So much so that nearly everything's in it. <laughs> 
You've got to have stuff from actually, haven't you? And you see it's nice and, and thick as well. We'll probably need maybe two coats, but I'm not sure. We'll just see how it goes on. Because I'm actually going to decoupage most of it anyway. Um, I'll show you which napkin I'm going to use shortly. Again, this is the one that um, I've used on my coordinating jars and tubs and tins and what have you that I use in here. So, they all look pretty much the sameness. I'm just daubing this on. Some bits I might have to do when these bits are dry. But I'll do some with you and then I might pause it until it's dry and then come back to it. Have a look outside, and that fog hasn't even cleared. Freezing fog, mind you. We should think ourselves lucky, really, because there's people like in America and elsewhere that get proper snowed in. And have colder temperatures than what we have here. And cope. It's just the UK seems to come to a standstill with the slightest bit of bad weather. Because we're not used to it really. It's just the frost and ice at the moment. horrible. Mind you, I haven't been out today. And there were nothing to go out for, so I'm not going out in that cold. No. So I've just before given this all a coat with um, gesso. It's an acrylic undercoat primer, whatever you want to call it. But if I'd have um, just painted this straight on with this, it wouldn't have sat because it was a shiny finish. I mean, it's only coated MDF anyway. It's not special, but I just thought I might as well make use of it in here. And it were a bit battered and marked, so I th thought I'd give it a coat, sorry, and share it with you. Right then, so that's the inside of the drawer done on that coat. So I'm just going to do these inside bits first, but you can actually see. But I'll just have to hold it best I can so that you can see. And also so I can see what I'm doing. It's all new to me is this but I'm doing my best. So you'll have to just bear with me. We all have to learn somewhere.
actually eaten on nearly all day and I'm getting a bit warm now but I think it's to do with the lights in here so they give off quite a bit oops looks like we're doing that bit next <laughs> I'm going to do these side bits, but some of these bits I'll come back and do when this first section's dried out. Because if not, I'll be just marking it all over. It's quite a grey finish to it as this. It's, it's like I say, it's my favourite. I love it. Okay, which is a bonus. Like I said, I think, I think this was bought from either B&M or Own Bargains. And like I said previously, it wasn't that over expensive. I think it was maybe less than a fiver. I can't remember. I did that long. I do believe they've still got me in stock anyway. So if you fancied doing one. You'll have to let me know. Maybe share some pictures with us. It'll be interesting to see what we all do. I am going to distress this a bit as well, I don't know I actually said earlier. going back and watching it. I think I might have said to you in a previous video, um, I buy these paints in sample size pots from Wilkinson's. It's their best, it's called. Um, and it's a flat mat paint with a chalky finish and it works for me I've used it in lots of projects in different colours and I just think it's the pure brilliant white that you can't get in the large tins I think every other one comes in the sample size but it does go a long way I mean these last be absolutely ages the only thing is when I open them tins tend to start to ru rust a little bit and then it goes into the paint so I mean I had this with one, one tin that I'd opened and left and I ended up having to sieve it all because all the bits went into it which were not good but there's not what you can do about it so once they're opened I bob them in these jars I think they're preserved jars in fact, I do believe I bought the jars actually from Wilkinson's. But again, don't quote me, I'm not 100% sure. Right. Probably do it with a bigger brush, but. I haven't actually got one to hand. I've got my finger in that. <laughs> I've got my hair tied in it. Oh, no. 
nightmare I am. Just smooth them edges out because I don't want no big lumps and bumps. Um, yeah, so we're winning. She says, getting paint all over. So I'm just going to push that to one side for that to dry. And then I'm going to give this a quick cut. Some people don't do inside drawers, I mean, you know, when you pull the drawer out, they haven't painted inside them. But when I um, upcycle something or reinvent it, whatever you want to call it, I tend to do inside and out. They also try and keep the back as tidy as the front, if I can, that is. Yeah. I like doing little bits like this and it's nice when, when you've done them and you're going to use them as well. I never used to like doing things like this, it's only maybe over the last year or so I've actually got into doing it, we're mainly card making and scrapbooking and what have you, hope to do with paper, my job's still the same, I, I like to play with paper, sad really isn't it? <laughs> But there's a lot of people out on YouTube that do. And I've seen some channels and my goodness, the things that they do is absolutely unbelievable. I don't think I'll ever be as good as that. So I'll just stick to what I know and what I enjoy doing. I think that's the best way. Don't you? I was saying on a couple of comments earlier that I just, you know, made on um, a previous video and people had left some comments below and I was saying it's, it's really, really, really hard to actually talk to yourself, you know, when you're not used to doing this and filming and talking. I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm doing my best anyway. I'm a newbie. Well, I'm not a newbie at craft, but I'm a new newbie at this YouTube filming thing. <laughs> I enjoy crafting. It's I, I do it most days. I have something on the go. So why not share it with you? I just realised I haven't put my phone on silent so if it rings I'll apologise in advance. I don't think it will. Just in case. I've also put some felt pads under these chair legs so that they don't make that horrendous grating sound anymore. <clears throat> right, I'm just going to give front of this drawer a coat and then I'm going to go, because I don't want to bore you too much while I'm painting just gives you an idea what I've done. I 
like I did on my previous video, I um, I give the um, the bottle another coat, but I think well I'm, I'm pretty sure this will need another coat anyway. But I'll do it off camera and I'll just come back to you when it's all dried and done, ready for the decoupage. Right then, I'm not going to do any more on that, because you start I'll end up with bumps and blobs and God knows what else on it. So, I really do need to stop saying that word, so I noticed on my previous video I said it was. <laughs> But I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to decoupage it with. That's the full napkin, I think, or is it just half the one? I might have used it. I thought I'd got a full one out, but I have actually used half of it. So I'll just whip that off. Anyway, that's one half of it. And that's another half. Well, it's not even another half, is it really? Because it's wrong way. <laughs> not doing very well, am I? I, I don't know. So th that's what it's like when it's a full napkin. But obviously I've been doing bits and I've used them. I also have a, a bag that I put all my bits in that are scrap what I've used. Um, and these, these bits will come in when I do, when I do the, the letter rack. I won't be using it for letters, I'll probably be using it for papers and tags and all bits of things like that. But I will show you in a video at some point um, how I do these these jars and all me. Um, Everything's more or less all the same. Then these were some old like pie pie dishes. There's glitter in that. That's from Christmas. I also did these old pie dishes that I got from a a junk shop. So I just painted them white underneath and then did a bit of decoupaging. As you can see. I like them. Um, it gives me a bit of space to put bits. I mean, I've just got pins and needles in this one. I've made I've made all these little pin cushions myself. Can you see them? Whether you can see or not, to get used to. And this one out of a um, an old egg cup. Which I reinvented you see so I'm always busy doing something absolutely love tinkering <laughs> right then I'm gonna go get myself another cuppa there you go you see no screeching of the chair legs so I'm gonna get another cuppa and let these dry and then I'll come back and do some more painting and as soon as I've got it all covered um, I'll be back with you and then we can get decoupaging so because I'm not going to use full sheet covers on this I'm just going to do bits of this here and you know bits there um, but some of the items that I do I do do a full sheet cover but again I'll show you how I do that as and when I do the um, the video so I'll catch you soon see you later bye Hello and welcome back. Right, the paint's all dry, so I'm going to decide now where we're going to put these napkins, bits of decoupage. Um, so I've got these bits that were out of my scrap bag. 
because like I said before I do actually keep all these bits just in case right so I can get my glue Podge. It's not in, I've put it into a jar, but it is the matte one that I use. I bought this in bulk, I think I bought about five bottles of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right then. Let's decide what we're going to do here. I'll get my good old water pen out. I'm going to put the drawer in because if it covers over then I'll just cut through but I'll show you as I do that. So, and I will be sanding it down a little bit. I've also decided what angle I'm going to put on it. So I'm just using one of these. They come with brads. But I've also got some little tiny screws as well, which I might use them yet. I don't know. So, right. So we've measured this already, just to make sure I got it in the middle. So I'm just going to bear with me. I have to stand up for this one. I'm just going to make a little hole so I know where we're going with it. Work. And I'll come back to that and give it a deep go I think it's quite hard because it's MDF right then so I'll put that back on one side I'll try and find a bit of fire I think these might have come from the range mm -hmm. I think these are the handles metal label holder handles and you get a pack of four I've got two packs um, I think it's Mr Smith's workshop range do crafts, paper mania so I've had them quite a while but yeah I knew I'd need them for something I'll just put them back right, let's have a look now at where we're going with this napkin I'll just There. Bring it in a little bit more. Hope you can see. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, so we'll just leave it in abeyance. Right. So, just going to have a look where we are. Right. I'm just going to take, it's got like a border as this napkin, I don't really you can just see it, but it's ruffled up down there, so I'm just going to, just make sure I get some water, I'm just going to take off this border, 
because I'll probably use that on here somewhere. So I'll just put that over there out of the way. Um, So I'm just going to go around here with this water pen and just start by pulling it away gently. I'm just going to go around these little flowers. Very careful when you're doing this because you don't want to lose any of it because it's easily torn and you end up with bits missing that you don't want missing and oh dear so just steady away a little bit sniffly I thought I was going to get really bad cold the other day but nothing seems to have materialised thank the Lord I'm just going round outside of this flower and this foliage that bit there and then I'm just going to put it back on and have a look at where we're at it's nice just going to get rid of these bits here that bit there and like I say I'm not worried about going over that draw there because I'm going to cut into it anyway so no worries there let's just get another bit and see we might have a bit of scripts as well separating the three pieces because you don't want these back in pieces and again I'm just going to take off this border and then I've got a chance to use it then I don't really like straight edges but just get rid of that bit there. I'm going to use it and work it down there. I'm going to have that bit there. Uh, sorry I keep shuffling about. Come down here. script there but I'm not going to leave my straight edge I want rid of it for this bit I'm just pulling it away gently going round I don't want to lose any of that flower I have lost a little bit there about a millimetre we can live with that I think
slam left. Yeah. Let's have a look at this now. See where we are. This is what happens, you start moving stuff about. It's the joys of it, isn't it? We're not gluing down yet. Just getting rid of these straight edges on here. Might put this border all the way along. Hmm. And I'll just decide I'm going to take this border here just in case. I decide I'm going to all the way around which is likely what I'm going to do just get rid of all the backing bits so we only want that one layer there we go Have a look because I might need some more. I've got any more on this scrappy bit here. I sure have. That's good. Plenty more on this one. Oh. See, this is why I don't throw all these bits away because you never know, dear. You just might need them. So I'm glad I saved them anyway. We've got another bit here. Get rid of them bits. There. There. Right then, to start with, I'm going to do all this border around. Make sure I've got enough water on there. My squeaky old rickety chair. <coughs> oh. Right, so going to get a little bit of Mod Podge on here. I'm a little bit too high there, but it doesn't matter. I'd rather it be too high than not. Enough. I'll just down it dregs of that jar. sticking together. Don't mind the paper sticking to it, napkin, but I don't want the drawer sticking in. <coughs> Check to use coffin. There we go. <coughs> My throat's really, really dry. Maybe I should have brought myself a drink. <coughs> Wheezing. Right, so I'm going to decide which 
bits that I'm going to work with. I just need to get this straight edge off here. I hope you can see what I'm, what I'm doing okay. Put the heating on because it's so cold. The only downside to that is it seems to dry, glue off. But I mean, the radiator's on here in front of me, which is a bonus really because it keeps you warm and just dries stuff out. Right then, so we've got that bit on. So I need to marry up now. I'm going to go like there. I'll just bob a little bit more glue here. Try not to get it while I've just wiped. Some of that image of that flower that I'm going to over, put it here, I'm going to overlap this so I'm not worrying. Just a wipe. I'm just going to take some of this glue off. to sand off at end. <laughs> right then, so I'm just going to blend that in there. And then I'm just going to get a little rub. Because this bit's, this, this border bit that I'm using is the sides of the napkin. So it's all perforated. And I don't really like them all, so... I do try to rub them out. So there we are. That's the front bit done there. So I'm just going to turn it on its side and just pop some glue here and then work my way around with this border. Oops, that's what happens. these dots and bits. Let's get back on there and I'll turn it over in a moment and show you. edge. Just have to turn it to me just to see. I'm quite right. Or near on anyway. I'm just smoothing this on with my finger. It's a daisy. Just what I didn't want to do but I shall just take that off there. Some more glue on this bit and get this bit on. It's doing over that corner. <clears throat> Just keeping it as near to the edge as you can. Just helps to keep the pattern flowing, really. Yeah. 
way to smooth, smooth this out. Any bits that haven't stuck can just go over afterwards and just poke the brush under it. We've actually made a little hole there but we're not worried. I don't think you'll really be able to tell. That's why you've got to be so gentle. I don't think it helps because I'm using napkin as well. We've got that bit done so I shall now come over to this bit. We'll go for that bit there. Just smooth that on there quickly. And just put this on here. Let's move it out to that end bit there. And then just to so just put my finger there and just pull it. Just so it joins there. Just gonna lift that bit up there. Grab a bit of glue under it. As we say around here, jobs are good. No worry. <clears throat> right then, where are we? Has my bits gone? Um, is that there? I thought I'd lost it. We'll go there. I'm just going to pop some more glue on here. gap of the drawer. Right, let's get this on. I'm going to go there. So I'm just gently going to rub it out with my fingers. Say fingers there. I hope you can hear me because I'm talking quiet, aren't I? Oh, I've said to you before, it's, it's really weird having to speak to nobody. But really, I should think, well, I am actually speaking to somebody, aren't I? As a dear friend said to me, I'm actually speaking to all you out there. So I think I'll just have to pretend in my mind's eye. That you stood in front of me. It might be easier. I'm just going to pop this little bit here. Just lift that up and press that down. I've got a little bump there, but it's actually where I did the hole for the handle. Here. 
yeah because I've obviously it's sewed through with the first layer that I put on Oops. Oops. I'm going to give this a gentle smooth out now I'm just going to go around this corner now. Shall lift it up in a sec. Just pop some glue. There. I'm just going to press this in now. Same underneath. I'm just going to get this pink foot on. I'll wrap it there. I'm just going to get this bit over here into this bit. Just do one bit at a time. Just going to get this over this angle here. So I've half got it on the letter rack and half on the napkin. So I'm just going to gently just bob this down just by smoothing it downwards. Keep this as good as it should be until these bits dry. Right, then I'm pleased with that so far. I'm just going to bob something here. This bigger one here. Just bear with me. Just having another look. Hmm. to go there. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to put this one on for now. Get this bit on. I might have to come back to that one. Oops. Oops. 
just what I didn't need. I guess I wasn't concentrating. Just try and get a bit of this glue out. I think it doesn't matter what I'm worrying for, really, because I'm going to distress it anyway. Right, so I think we'll go there with this one. Oops, stuff everywhere. And then bobbing this bit over around the corner. to this bit here. Just work this in gently. There's no rush. Otherwise you can end up tearing it all. And then I'm just going to brush a bit of glue here. I just have to just nick that one there a little bit just to take that pull out. There we go. Where we are up to now. Just give that another little look. Ow. You can see some of them little holes. It's not that it really matters, but. So far, I'm pleased with that. We might just have a little bit of something going on here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so I'm off with that word again, aren't I? So, so wish I didn't have to say it all time. <laughs> Gets you nowhere. Dony. Look. I'm going to move for it all. I might just take these here, these dark bits. So it's too much of the sameness of that because it's the same flower. Do you know, I'm not right sure. So I think for now I'm just going to leave that bit. Just can't get my head around it. So there you are. I've done that bit. So I'm going to let them bits dry because I don't want to sag this drawer anymore. Otherwise it's going to be ruined. It's all going to lift. I'll be back to you shortly. I'm just going to let that dry off a little bit. Um, then I'll come back to you. I might try and sort out which bits I'm going to put where before I put the camera back on. So, anyway, I'll just let that dry. So I'll maybe just go and get a cutter. I think that's what I will, will do. And then 
I'll just let that dry off a little bit. So, anyway, there we are so far. Can you see? I don't need to rub that bit in, don't I? We've got the holes. Well, we did have the holes. Right then, so I'm going to let that dry and I will catch you shortly. Hello and welcome back. Right, well, this has dried off a little bit now. I'll just get myself sat down and comfy. So I've actually, while I were waiting, I've torn a couple of bits of napkin ready. Ready to go. So we're going to have that piece there, or roundabouts. And this piece about there. So we'll crack on, get them stuck in. I'm just going to bob some glue in here. I hope you can see it's awkward angle is this. brush and just gently Lifting it a little bit as you go, just to try and avoid some of the creases. I don't know if you can actually see. It's a bit of an awkward angle. It's awkward getting your mitts in anyway. <laughs> smooth this down with the brush. Corner there. So when I start jamming bits in, I don't want it to tear. Right then, so that's that bit on there. So I'm just going to come to this top bit now. Sometimes people put 
put loads and loads of glue on. I find that it just saturates the napkin. I mean, I put enough on, but I just don't go. <coughs> excuse me, what? Excuse me. My throat is really, really dry. And like I said, the proper saturate it, and then there's no working with it. Then, because as soon as you put any pressure on, it just pulls away and tears. Just sometimes you just haven't got enough hands. So I'm just going to push that into that. Don't worry if you haven't got enough glue. No, I'm saying you haven't got enough glue. Um, you haven't covered the area enough. You can always lift it up and come back. Right then, so I'm just going to lay some glue in this one now. This is when I wish I had long fingers. And then you've got little, little hands. does it when you're chesty. I've got an inhaler but I don't use it half and a quarter of the time. Maybe I should. Right then anyway. So just try and wind this bit up here, what I've torn. Firstly, I just need to um, see if it's better if we do it this way. I need to work it into that corner first. I'll just lift that a second. See where we're going. It's so awkward, and because I'm trying to show you <coughs> as well what I'm doing. More fingers and thumbs. So I think we'll go there and work around it. I'm just pushing that into that corner there a little bit. use cling film but I, I tried it when I first started doing it but I couldn't get on with it at all. I ended up with it all. It's too, I don't know, and we're all 
screwed up with it and I just found it easier to use the cheap food bags. I just get them from um, I'm sending food bags, I think the sandwich bags. I either pick them up from Morrison's or Lidl, depending on where I am when I need any. Container and I just snitch a dozen and bob them in. I mean, one lasts you for ages. Just have a look down that, see if I've got that bit in. Yep. I don't know what that is. Just do this bit now, this edge, and over towards the back. And I'm just going to put a bit of glue down here, ready to catch it. That needs to be a bit more up there. It's a glue stuck to my fingers. I've seen them, they're all daubed up. Say dropped it regardless. Just leave that bit there. Pop it over gently. Just a little bit. Just pulling that round a little bit because it's. It's tight. Just want it to go around this corner. that bit there. Just gonna pull it up. Tweezers aren't much good. Thing is I do I do this, get all daubed up with glue and then have bits of glue all over. That's why it were earlier when I wondered why it was. a bit <clears throat> just tear that a bit just to so it straightens out the rain on the corner I'm just gonna get rid of that bit there so just stick that down then we have to I 
to even know this on paper. Dirty hand marks while well, being with glue. <laughs> oh dear, very naughty. So, let's have a look here now. Let's see what we're gonna put on here. I think I'm just going to go with. I'm going to go there with that bit. Just overlap this slightly on that board a bit. So then just come around the back of this here. Going down with my brush like that, there's just a little bit of glue on it, it's lifting and putting it back down wherever it is. That's how I do with them bits, just lift it up with your brush and then lay it back down. Right, so we've got that bit on there. I think I've just thrown that bit of paper in my glue. No, I haven't. I thought I had. Ready to go there with that one. So I'm going to bob the script a bit on first, making sure that I've got it the right way up. Not that it really matters with decoupage. I'm 
pleased with that bit. Just pop a bit up there. I ain't gone high enough. mega sanding but I'll have to do some of it. It needs must. Get rid of that bit. Just going to pop that down. Oops, I need to do that. Put down that, right? Let's come back around here and get this flower on. I'm just going to smooth that out there. And then I'll just sand that off then when I get the sandpaper on the go. I'm just going to try and rub this in a little bit more. I've got a couple of creases. I'm going to rub them and rub them all. But I'm not, like I say, I'm not phased. I don't want it to look brand new. That isn't. nicer than say if it's got some coverage on it. So just strip this napkin out. Like I mentioned before this is my favourite of this napkin. I've done all my jars and holders and everything in it just to keep it in keeping really so I think it looks nice if they're all the same bits that you've got just going across here with this water pen quite handy when you're doing decoupage of these so you don't have to be messing about with water and a brush it's all there in one and then there's no chance of me knocking it over as well which is a bonus we might 
might just go around this a little bit there. Take that off. Maybe just come in a bit more there. Look at that there. Just have a look. Here. Where are we going? Be okay on that. I'm just going to get rid of some of this corner so I don't need all that going over there, really. So, this is where I'm putting this one here. We're going about, about there, I do believe. Okay, just tidy this edge up a little bit here. Just take it a bit closer to the foliage. Yeah, I think we're about right there. Just put a bit of water there, then I know where I'm up to. So we'll get some more Mod Podge on this. More blue. I'm just working it in. I say that this is matte, but I don't know that you can see there. It is actually shiny. stuff on it. I think it's mainly for people that use it as a coating, you know, instead of using a varnish. Just get rid of that bit, but I, I don't like it, personally. I don't mind using it for sticking with, like for doing this, but after that, I'm not really playing. We're about right there. This now, where we're going. Yep, please do that. Just get this little bit over here. Got all loads of glue on it. Press 
warnanya. Right then, I think that's just about it for the decoupage side of things. I'm happy with that. Just going to poke in here. And then little screws. <coughs> As if I don't decide to use the screws. I don't know whether I will or I won't. Right, then I'm going to leave that to dry now properly and then I will be back. Just get a bit of glue on there, glue it down. Start to move and we're bobbing it up and down, but anyway, it doesn't matter. And then I'll show you how I cut into this draw bit and finish that off. I'm just going to leave that with you and let it all dry. I'm going to have to stand it up that way because the back's wet. So, I hope you've enjoyed this so far. I've done my best for you. I think it's my fourth, fourth video is this, or my, or my third tutorial. Right then, squeaky chair. So I'll catch you all again soon. Till then, bye. Hello, we're back and we're all dry. So first things first, we have had a little move around in here, but I will reveal all when we've finished revamping. Um, I've got more space for me to work in. It's lovely. Anyway, I'm just going to use my knife now and I'm going to cut through this where I've just joined over with the pattern. So I'm just gently going to slice down with my knife because I don't want to tear it. Just doing this, this draw. I'm just gently bobbing the knife in and just cutting through. There we go. It's nice because then you've got like a, a continuous pan. Just doubles a little bit there. We're not worried, are we? I'm sure we'll be fine. The only worry is that draw's stuck inside. <laughs> but time will tell. Right then, so I'm just going to bob the drawer out there. And as you can see, we've just got these little rough edge bits. So all I'm going to do now with these is I'm just going to get an emery board, just a cheap emery board, and I'm just going to go in with it, just taking off all those rough edges, just gently like that. So I'm going to go all the way around now and get rid of these. So as you can see I'm actually pushing them away from me. So I don't want to snag them all. bits or your loose bits.
just gives it a cleaner edge. Sorry if you can't see, I just needed to hold that bit there. Right, so that's that bit done. I'm pleased with that. I'll do the draw, so same again, just going down, just put my glasses on, would help, can't see much without them, we're not close anyway, so I'm just going across the bottom of this draw. Bits. Okay. Right. So all that bit's done. So what I'm gonna do now is just get them into a little pile there out of the way. Let's get rid of my knife. I don't fancy that stuck in my hand or wrist. And then all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to distress this slightly. I'm just going to continue by using this emery board but as you can see it's a clean a clean finish you see that and then um, the pattern continues which I kind of like it all matches so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this emery board here instead of using sandpaper and I'm just going to take off a little bit of the paint just to distress it slightly just, just instead of me actually using the sandpaper, this mess so the uh, so I'm just gonna take off some of these little edges here. And again, where you've gone over your, your pattern of your napkin, just go back over just to give it that clean. I'm going to rub backwards and forwards on this and just distress, distress it. If you prefer to do it with sandpaper, by all means do. But it's just a, a clean away for me. Can't be coping with dust all over in here. And my camera and everything's set up in here, so I don't want to start moving it and taking it out. Just want it to look a little bit used. Let me 
And don't get me wrong, it has been used. This is just MDF, so you do get a little bit of um, brown showing through, which is quite nice. You, you can use sandpaper if you wish, but I just don't want it flying all over. Right. Just, I mean, not sandpaper flying all over. Just decorated in here and... Still got to find a home for most of my stuff, but I mean it's an ongoing project. I've still got to get some drawers and everything. But you just to do what you can while you can when you can afford it. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it, just to be able to go out and buy everything in one foul slope. Appreciate what you've got, don't you? Bit of 
tried and tear on it. So glue back down, don't worry about that. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more of it. It's nice because some of white's coming through as well. Just a little bit more. see I haven't done copious amounts of distressing on it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna come off camera and tidy all this good stuff because obviously we need to varnish and I can't be having all those bits stuck in so I'll catch you in a more right I'm back and all cleaned up so I'm gonna give this a coat of varnish with your I'll do the, the draw with you and then I'll do the rest off camera. Debating which way to go first. I think I'll do it inside. So I'm just going to give this a quick coat. This is a matte varnish that I use. with a bigger brush really but smooth that out there steady away I'm laughing because my tongue's out <laughs> when I concentrate I stick my tongue out how bad is that? Glad you can't see me. <laughs> I'm just going to give this a quick coat and then I'll come back and give it another coat later when it's dry. Just do this inside bit with you and then show you from where I've decoupaged how I go over that and sort the bits out that are actually stuck up a little bit with the, the sanding. But it does happen. I didn't want to varnish it and then sand it. job twice as hard. So, so that's that all covered. 
and smoothed out. So on these bits here, I don't know whether I hope you can see, they're just lifting a little bit. So all I do is I just go with a little bit of varnish and I just smooth them back down. And it just adheres it back down to the the surface. So just up a little bit and then down a little bit. There we go. Look a bit there. Smooth that bit down. The rest of it I think we're good good to go. Again, I'm just giving it a, a thin coat. It will bubble, it usually does a little bit when, when you get it wet again. But it does settle. So don't worry about that. I don't want no kind of drips or build up. go one direction as well. I'm just going to do the bottom with you and then I will come back to you when we're all varnished up and dry. It's lovely and sunny here today, it's a right spring day. It keeps tormenting as we get a bit of sun and then it's like freezing, freezing cold. Right, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to rest that against there. Sorry you can't see it, it's out of shot. And then I'm now going to give this a coat, so I'll do a little bit with you and then I'm going to go and finish it all, all off, let it dry and then, as Arnie says, I'll be back because I need to um, put the little draw handle through it, on, well, on it and do that with you. Just get that screwed on. I'm just going up and doing this bit here. Trying not to get too much in. I build it up too much probably draw won't shut. So I'm just gonna come down and brush all them edges down and then smoothing them out so you can see it has bubbled a little bit here but it does do that but it will settle it's not a worry at all so I will turn the camera off a minute while we do all this and then as soon as it's dry I will be back to you so I'll see you in a moment bye right then we're all dry 
Um, I have actually scuffed this up a little bit more, as you can see, just to give it a little bit of a knocked about look. Um, so I'm going to bob this draw back in. There we are. And then I'm going to bob the hand, hand, handle, file handle on. So I hope you can see, I need it a bit nearer to me. So I'm just going to bob a little bit of fabric tack around this hole here. And then, funny thing with this, isn't it? It's brilliant glue, but it's so stringy. I'll just put a little bit on there. Ready. Got some little screws. I'll just bob these in. I don't know what that is there. I don't need it in there. Um, rid of that. We didn't want no friends, did we? I didn't. Just take this out, I'm sure it'll be easier for me. Right, that's one in. Get the other in. Do a blue job this. Not a blue job is don't yet. Let's put in comments if you know what a blue job is. Job. That's just about starting to go is that they're just some screws that I, I add because actually with the pack of the um, handle, they come with little brads, but they want that much to play with by the time I'd put it through, so I didn't think it was such a good idea. So we've just got some little screws in there. So that's about it. I hope you liked this little project. There you go. I've enjoyed doing it and sharing it with you. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to actually put in these yet. But I've just brought these in because everything's all boxed up and away at the moment. I went to doing this craft room out. So this is the sort of thing I'm sure that'll be housing in it. sorts in this but I've, I've no idea at the moment so there you go so any questions please don't hesitate to add them below in the comments section and I will answer them best I can um, and also Please like and share and if you want to come on board and share this journey with me, you know what to do. We don't say that S word do we anymore. Um, 
yeah so that's just about it and thank you for watching it means a lot and my next project is Easter themed so don't forget to look out for that um, it's something that I actually did last year for Easter and absolutely beautiful but I'll share it with you anyway I'll see you later bye for now see you bye